Christians think that Jesus is the only way to God. He is. Not only does Jesus make it very clear in the passage you're about to refute, he also makes it very clear all over the New Testament. Here are just a few examples. They're wrong. Here's why. The arrogance this random layman has is something reminiscent of that of uneducated online theologians. They're wrong. Lord have mercy. In the passage they reference, Jesus himself says, in my father's house there are many rooms, which means the kingdom of heaven actually is full of variety. This is what happens when you try and exegete the scriptures while having no concept of proper exegesis or knowledge of the scriptures. You can literally go to any theologian or biblical scholar and not a single one of them will tell you it's talking about a variety of ways to God. The Orthodox Study Bible says many mansions is a word picture of an abundance of living accommodations around a central courtyard. Mansions also speaks of the multitude of blessings that await those who enter the kingdom of God. It has absolutely nothing to do with your idiotic relativist misinterpretation. According to Vedic scriptures, Guru is an incarnation of God's mercy. God lives in the hearts of his pure devotees. So we respect and have faith in Christ, but we try to also be open-minded and respect any pure devotee of the Lord who can take you to God. No matter what faith or tradition they are part of, we are all children of God. Yeah, this is just nonsense. Eastern religious pluralism and relativism, basically suggesting that all religious beliefs are equally valid and that there are multiple paths to salvation. This view is self-refuting in several ways. One, it's an internal contradiction, affirming the existence of a universal truth that all religious beliefs are equally valid, while simultaneously denying the possibility of universal truth. Two, it has logical consequences. If all religious beliefs are equally valid, then logically contradictory contradictory beliefs must also be equally valid. For example, if one religion asserts that there is only one God, while another asserts that there are multiple gods, both claims cannot simultaneously be true. Relativism fails to provide a coherent framework for reconciling such contradictions. Three, epistemological issues. Religious relativism assumes that humans can accurately discern and evaluate religious truth claims. However, if all beliefs are equally valid, then there is no basis for distinguishing between true and false beliefs. This undermines the reliability of human reasoning and makes it impossible to discern genuine spiritual insight from delusion or error. And for ethical implications, if all religious beliefs are equally valid, then it follows that all religious practices, including those that promote harmful or unethical behavior, are also equally valid. This leads to moral relativism, where actions are judged solely based on cultural or personal preferences rather than objective ethical standards. Also, we're not all children of God. Only those who have received him and believe in his name are God's children. John 1.12 makes it very clear, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. Each soul is unique and is naturally attracted to different aspects of God. And thus, we need different rulers and teachers because, according to our nature, they can give us entrance to the specific realm of that divine kingdom of the Lord. So, therefore, Jesus is a glorified way to God, but he is not the only way to God. Yeah, just more spiritual, pluralistic nonsense that I've already debunked. Jesus Christ is the only way to God. As I've proven, your worldview doesn't even stand up to basic logic and epistemology.